Curly, and welcome to Curly's Clips. A common question we get at Marmot is how do we determine the temperature ratings for our sleeping bags? Well, since the early 70s, Marmot has been an industry leader in down sleeping bags. Back then, to determine the temperature rating, we'd actually sleep in a meat locker overnight in our sleeping bags. In the morning, if we were cold, we'd put more down in there and then try it again the next night. If we're too warm, we'd pull a little down out. Then we'd measure how much loft was there and determine a temperature rating by that. These days, we continue our leadership by employing the EN testing method for both our synthetic and down bags. EN stands for European Norm and is a test that's conducted in several facilities around the world. So to help us explain it all, we're bringing in our titan of testing, Randy Veneers. Randy, it's my understanding that EN testing creates standards of comfort for men and women in sleeping bags. Can you tell us more? The way the test works is there's a copper mannequin which has about 20 different thermal sensors. These thermal sensors will be able to determine the insulation value of the sleeping bag. That insulation value, or CLO, is then correlated the to the subjective field testing of the uh, individuals and the end result is a comfort rating. So Randy, I've taken the liberty of blowing up an EN tag so you can describe how to look at the ratings here. Right. Well, it's pretty well self-explanatory, but you'll find three different ratings on the tags. The first one is what they call the comfort. This is based on a woman having a comfortable night's sleep. The lower limit, which is based on a, on a man having a comfortable night's sleep. And the extreme which they call a survival rating. Uh, you're not going to have a really comfortable night's sleep, but you should be able to see the dawn. So as I mentioned, rating a sleeping bag for temperature and comfort is extremely challenging. There's so many variables involved in the field, such as whether you're in a tent or not, if it's windy, if it's not, uh, your physical condition, uh, are you exhausted that day, have you eaten before you've gone to bed, uh, what kind of clothing are you wearing, do you have the proper insulation pad under you for the conditions, be it snow and ice or rock or grass, that sort of thing? Those all uh, factor into your particular comfort on a particular night. So using this example, our Pinnacle 15 degree bag tests out at 10 degrees for a man to have a comfortable night's sleep and 22.2 .2 degrees Fahrenheit for a woman to have a comfortable night's sleep. So. Although your field experience may vary a little bit, we feel that the EN testing is best used as a tool to compare sleeping bags over different brands, different temperature ranges, so you have an idea of where that sleeping bag is going to provide comfort for you. And don't forget, you can always modify that a bit by wearing extra clothes, making sure that you're out of the wind, and make sure that you have the proper insulation underneath you. Here at Marmot, we feel that EN testing is the most accurate and consistent testing method available to us today, and it's quickly becoming a global standard. We're very proud to be the industry leader in providing EN testing information on our sleeping bags at your local specialty retail store. Curly out. <laughs>